Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This video is about admittance parameters, and this is on the request of a student from Nigeria. And he has an assignment in which practice problem 19.4 is required to be solved. So if you recall the y parameters, we have these four parameters, admittance parameters, y1, y11 and y21 is calculated when v2 is 0 and similarly y12 and y22 is calculated when v1 is 0. So let's uh, straight away go to the question, practice problem 19.4. We have to obtain y parameter for this circuit. So as I told you that we have to follow this uh, formula and the first we will attempt to find out y11 and y21 and for that we have to make v2 is equal to 0. So this is this end is v2. So we have to short circuit this and we have to connect a current source uh, at the left hand side. So our circuit will become something like this. We have short circuited the right hand side. So V2, the output voltage is equal to zero. And we have connected a current source at the primary side of the left hand side. And now uh, we'll add some uh, parameters there like the current, this current was given I0, this current we name as I3, this is already given I2, this node we call node number 1 and this node we call node number 2 and the node voltages this we call V1, remember this voltage is also V1 so it is the same actually because there is no resistance in between. But this voltage, now V2 is here, which is zero, but there is a resistance in between. So this terminal cannot be called as V2. So we'll give it another name, we call it V0. Now with this, now we write the equation at the node. At node one, this is the current entering. So I1 is entering and I0 and I3 leaving. So we can write I1 is equal to I0 plus I3. And now we'll convert them in terms of a voltage. So I0, you can see it is going from V1 to the reference point. We say this is reference point, which is zero. So it is V1 minus zero divided by three. So we don't write minus zero. We just say V1 divided by three. The current I3 is going from V1 to V0. So we write V1 minus V0 divided by this resistance 6. So this is our equation number 1 at node 1. Now let's write the equation at node number 2. Here also you can see I3 is entering. I2 is also entering. And 2I0 is leaving. So we write I3 plus I2 is equal to 2I0 and again we put in the voltage I3 has this value so we just plug in that. I2 now look from here the current direction is from 0 to V0 so we we'll write 0 minus V0 divided by 2. So 0 minus V0 divided by 2 and 2I0 now I0 we had already found uh, to be from here V1 over 3, so it will be 2 V1 over 3. And now we can solve, we take the LCM, uh, we get this term, solving, solving, we get in terms of uh, v, V0 in terms of V1. So this is our equation number 2. Now keep in mind always that we have to find I1 over V1 and I2 over V2. Now putting value of V0 in equation 1, this value of V0 will put in here. So V1 
divided by 3 v1 here we had minus v0 now we'll put minus 3 by 4 v1 so it will be plus 3 by 4 v1 and simplifying we get i1 in terms of v1 so now uh, we are ready to calculate uh, y11 let's see how it is done y11 is i1 over v1 so we bring this v1 down so this will be 15 over 24 so 15 over 24 is equal to 0 0.625 siemens so this is y11 now y21 will be i2 over v1 so y2 is i2 over v1 and i2 we had found to be minus v2 over 2 from here you can see from here or you can see from here also i2 was this minus v0 over 2 so this is minus v0 over 2 from here divided by v1 now v1 we know from here is in uh, sorry uh, v yes v1 we know from here is uh, uh, v naught is minus 3 by 4 so we plug in that value here v naught we plug in the value from here for v naught and now v1 v1 will cancel minus minus will become plus so solving this will become 3 over 8 and which is equal to 0 0.375 siemens so we have found the first two parameters now for the second one again now we'll we'll be solving this and for this the condition is that we have to put v1 uh, zero or the voltage on the left hand side of the circuit should be zero so now we have short circuited this to make this v1 zero and we have uh, connected a current source i2 on the right hand side and same way as in the previous slide we'll find the nodal currents so at node one this is the current entering i naught is leaving and i3 is leaving so we can say i1 is equal to i naught plus i3 now there's a very important point that we have to understand since this is a short circuit that was virtually the three ohms resistance is eliminated or it becomes non-effective because any current flowing in the circuit will pass through this path and no current will go through 3 ohm resistance because short circuit has no resistance. So that means I naught is zero. So this is very important that you understand at this point. That's, and that is why we put I naught is equal to zero and I3 we know is V1 uh, minus V naught over six. So from here we find I1 to be minus V naught over six. Now let's go to node number two. Node number two, I3 is entering, I2 is entering, and two I0 is leaving. I3 we know V1 minus V0 over six. I2 we le le leave it as it is. And I0 is zero, so two I0 will also become zero. From here we, we, we found out that I0 is zero, so we put I0 is equal to zero here. And so we get the second equation, which is I2 is equal to V0 over 6 from here. This will go on the right hand side. Okay. So now we, we have found out I1 and I2. Now we need to find uh, V2 in terms of 0. So we can cancel it. Now from the diagram, if you see from this diagram, what is I2? I2 is this voltage minus this voltage so this is v2 so you can say v2 minus v0 over 2 also now we can compare these two and we can write that v6 is this term both are i2 so v0 6 divided uh, by 6 is equal to v2 minus v0 over 2 and solving we can find v2 in terms of v0 
तो v2 टू इज फोर बाई थ्री वी नॉट सो दिस इज अवर फोर्थ इक्वेशन सो नाउ वी आर रेडी टू सॉल्व वाई टू टू एंड वाई वन वन बिकॉज वी हैव फाउंड वी टू सो लेस नाउ सॉल्व वाई वन टू आई वन ओवर वी नॉट आई वन वी हैव दिस वैल्यू सो विल प्लग इन दैट सो माइनस वी नॉट ओवर सिक्स and v2 we have from here 4 by 3 v not so this is equal to minus 1 over 8 is equal to minus 0.125 siemens and similarly y22 is i2 over v2 so i2 from here here v not over 6 and v2 is the same 4 by 3 v not so this is equal to 1 over 8 is equal to 0. One to five Siemens. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how you can solve this problem. Although it is slightly trickier, but if you follow the procedure, it will become easy. Thank you.